Hi guys, it's Casey and I am here with my brand new addition. She is a Brazilian rainbow boa. I had done a lot of research before I got her and rainbow boas aren't really that common in the trade. They're a little more harder to find than say like a ball python so definitely on my wish list but I wasn't expecting to get her this soon. When I had the chance I just went ahead and got her and the funny thing is um, well I got her at the reptile super show in Pomona but the person that I got it from happened to be my local rat guy so the cool thing was that he offered me a really good deal and yeah, I got to get her much sooner than I anticipated. <laughs> she is still a baby. Fortunately, she she hasn't bit me. So that's good. Because <laughs> I hear like when these guys are babies, they can be a little nippy, but you know, she's good. When I got her, she was about 40 grams. She still has a long way to go as far as growth. And I'm excited to watch her grow because I know that she's gonna grow pretty big. Not too big, but kind of up there. Bigger than my ball pythons for sure, um, especially since she's a girl. I'll go ahead and show you what I temporarily put her in. And I'm actually pretty proud of myself because she had shed and it came out in one little piece. So that's good, that means I'm doing something right. I've been just keeping up with the differences as far as um, the care compared to like ball pythons. It's a little bit more upkeeping. I am down for that. Anything to make this little girl happy. So I currently house her in the tub. Got this DIY hide, cocoa husk. I kind of put these little decorations here. There's a water bowl. I have her on a heat mat here. So as far as names, as you guys know, or if you guys don't know, I am Indonesian. And when I look at her, she kind of gives me like these batik kind of vibes. If you guys don't know what batik is, it's basically kind of like um, a dyeing technique on fabric. And there's a whole variety of patterns. And it kind of, it doesn't sound that interesting, but in my culture, bought the clothes is all the craze. And um, actually, I have a couple pieces. I'll go ahead and show you that. Oh! So this is Batik. Kind of has like this print here. And then there's another one that's a little bit more busy. So she reminds me of that. So anyway, I'm going off in a tangent here, but um, continuing on with her name. As you can see, she has this pattern going on here. It kind of looks like eyes. And the Indonesian word for eyes happens to be mata. And I didn't really want to call her mata and that's it. I wanted to call her matahari, which means sun in Indonesian. But then I realized it's a little too long and I also did a quick Google search and um, it's the name or like the code name for a, a Dutch exotic dancer, something like that. Um, I just found that out so that was kind of interesting. I just went ahead and scratched that and um, I decided to merge the two words together which is Matari and that kind of flowed much better. I decided to stick with that because part of the word is Atari, which if you guys don't know is a video game company. She has three stripes on the top of her head. And it doesn't look exactly like the Atari symbol, but I mean three stripes. So that's why I decided to call her Matari. Just a combination of Mata and Atari. I'm excited. She's so very pretty, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video um, and seeing my new little girl. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!